I've sunk an enemy destroyer. In the battle's fiery test, Lucian proves she stands the best. With her crew, none can contest. Leading her fleet with death. Lucian fierce on. Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. You got a really, really fun video with the Lucian and uh, talking about how destroyers, man, like I said, at the end of the day, destroyers rule the day and are so impactful to the game that they make truly a big difference. And you're going to take a, a look at that, an example of it on both sides of the aisle, on the enemy team as well as the uh, friendly team right here. But as always, before we begin, if you see value in the channel, like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the support. Thank you guys for helping build the community, making this a better place, learn something at the same time and at 4,000 subs we're going to do another premium giveaway so let's get right to it looking at going to i like on this map i like going to charlie first because charlie seems less of a death trap than at bravo as you can see bravo from the north side you're only two choke points right here and if you're in here you're caught by either radar and they have a lot of good points like they can run in and out and it's really difficult for uh, my taste right there i do like charlie because they're that gives me a lot of egress routes i can always turn back around come back and loiter in this back area here or I can uh, head to the north and uh, to help out my enemies, or I'm sorry, my friendly teammates with the enemies on the eastern flank. So right off the bat, I choose. Here's what I found, find that um, is working for me really, really well, is I pick a destroyer and I go and hang out with them. I kind of just initially at the beginning of the game, I want to go cover them. And it's good that they're actually helping me cap as well. It gets the cap to you... Um, you know, be captured a little bit more uh, quick or, or quicker uh, rather than just me alone solo. So I actually like capping a point with another friendly destroyer. But it also enhances my firepower because now I have two. Uh, if I run against one destroyer, I have two sets of guns so that we can shoot and uh, mow down an enemy pretty, pretty darn well. So right off the bat, I know I have a uh, enemy Mogador right here somewhere in the area. So I'm going to go ahead and sp uh, pop Hydro so my Johnson can get first shots, first look, first kill. Uh, obviously, my Johnson is not spotted by Mogador. He has no idea where this is coming from. He's also stuck behind an island going in reverse, and you think he's preoccupied with the two northern ships right there. Little does he know that he has a Lucian and Johnson sneaking up his uh, flank right here, and you can see the power of what we can do. Two destroyers going against Mogador. Not a fair fight, but that's exactly what we do want to do. Never, ever, ever choose a fair fight. We want to play unfair at all times. Look at the power of the AP gun reload. 1.3 second reload right here. And Mogador, no matter what French saturation you got, is unable to just handle this right here. Just constant firepower just barreling right down at him, even though he gets a couple torpedoes off. And he is down for the count. And one go, one destroyer down, as well as a battleship right off the bat. Now, my previous day, I already told you, if you lose a, you know, a key component of the game, like a destroyer, you already increased your probability of losing. Now you've lost a battleship right off the bat in the initial phase of the game. You are one uh, down one battleship on that flank probability drops drastically as well because that's that these ships are so critical to one aspect of the game that it almost uh, hampers any kind of victory uh for that particular side uh for example like i've already said the destroyer role is the most powerful and again this video demonstrates the power of what a destroyer can do battleships will come in a second because they carry all the armor firepower and so forth they're there to tank them dam take damage and support um a push so uh, let's see how this actually turns out. So we got the, um, we'll speed it up a little bit here. Again, two destroyers pushing a, a Gdansk. Yep, not a fair fight. Let's get to it. Gdansk already took a lot of heat already. He's probably going to fire at us, but it's okay. We got our nice super hill, so we're not too afraid. We're looking at the AP, the power AP plowing into the Gdansk. I like the Gdansk. Unfortunately, it is like a Mogador as well. A very large uh, destroyer. Uh, easy to hit and easy to kill so not uh, worried right there okay now we're taking shots from a distance downtown shots look at that thunder were bold taking shots from downtown and he takes out our modules but no damage taken by us so very very good we have the deep water torpedoes that i do like in the lucians 11 kilometer range though so not as great as the pan asian uh, deep water torpedoes that i would like a little bit i would like them to go a little further a little faster actually what is the speed of these uh, deep water torpedoes they go 65 knots so i didn't build into them but they are still tough to detect and very powerful and hit like a wallop with like a train 
and let's take a look at it. Where I'm selecting AP right now because AP on the Lucian is just so freaking powerful. If you guys haven't noticed, this is that Dockyard Event Lucian, very powerful Pan Asian uh, tier 10 destroyer. Just has awesome reload, awesome guns, super heal, a really great contender for gunboat, great concealment. And, uh, and notice that the Thunder's uh, probably looking at us. And oh, we actually know he switched targets, looked at Johnston. Hopefully, Johnston can absorb this damage. Please don't die. Ah, uh, no, he's still alive. All right, good. So we're looking at all the damage we're doing with this just AP, which is why I like AP so much on the Lucians. It's uh, a, a viewer actually recommended I take a look at that, and you can just see it just melts battleships and cruisers. Really, really awesome, not to mention destroyers as well. Let's see if we can knock this guy. Again, Thunder has that super heal, so any kind of damage we do right now will pay in dividends and help out our team. Thunderer takes another shot at Johnson, and ouch, he goes down. Uh, Johnson, I do enjoy that ship. It was that, uh, you know premium expensive ship unfortunately is not able to survive doesn't have any heals so that's the downside of that i wish they would give johnson a heal uh war gaming developers think about that as well make it worth it so right now we're going to go ahead and see if we can melt the thunder i think we can here we go we're going to go slam on the brakes hard right turn and out oh, okay we take a little bit of damage it's okay oh he got he got a last shot off don't worry we're going to melt this guy and boom splash one and ouch takes a massive hit on us but it's okay We've got that super heal. And this is what makes the Lucian so, so powerful. And I mean, I would even say borderline uh, annoying because no matter how much damage we take, uh, we're just going to heal it back slow. The downside is it heals back very, very slowly. As you can see, it ticks up really, really uh, slow, but it's still a uh, look, last 40 seconds. So that is a lot of damage coming back to us as well, as well as the great concealment. I like the 5.8 concealment, 1.5 gun reload, and that hasn't, Fearless Brawler hasn't kicked in. A 5.5 kilometer hydro, which is very, very good at, uh, you know, spotting destroyers and smoke and so forth. Very good, almost borderline Z52, six kilometer range, almost there, but not necessarily quite there. But 5.5, I'll take it. Anything we can get. The deep water torpedoes I already talked about. Not fan, not a fan of the range, but I wish they were a little bit uh, longer range. They still pack a wallop and are, har are harder to detect. Right now, we're uh, helping out our team. Notice we have three caps here. Now, the Druid on their team is the key f uh, player I'm focused on. That's their last restorer that I'm really, really worried about. I know they got the Jaeger, but I'm not too worried about him. I'm worried about the Druid, and you're going to see they are worried about me as well. I'm the last restorer on my team, so... Let's make sure that we uh, survive and don't die. And you can see the power of, uh, you know, the. Oh, ooh, here we go. We have a. What is going on here? Is this guy AFK? But he just shot torpedoes. He is moving. Who oh, he is moving? He, he just activated his sonar. So I have no idea what this submarine is doing. But you know what? I'll take it. Now, here's the problem with depth charges. I have to drive over him, but what I thought he was last position is really not. So I have to stay within a certain splash distance to get these depth charges to work. So if he runs away, he escapes my splashes. Look at how many depth charges it takes just to get this guy. And look, I'm slow. He's outpacing me, okay? It takes me forever just to get... And meanwhile, I'm spotted the whole darn time uh, because I'm engaging everybody. Now I got to kill the destroyer. I got to get the submarine. I mean, literally, the destroyer is doing all the work, okay? Let's see if we can get more depth charges going here. Come on, baby. Get that depth charge on that submarine. Please get him. Okay, Duncan helps us take it out. Thank you for helping me out right there. Thank you, teamwork. And, okay, now we're uh, trying to get that Druid out of the game, man. That Druid, I love the Druid, by the way. It is a most, one of the most powerful destroyers in the game. And meanwhile, we also have to survive the Onslaught. Please don't hurt us. Ouch, that was a painful. But don't worry. We're going to see if we can melt and cure Sarge as much. He's got 77k health. And look at the firepower we're bringing down on him. What we got to go back, we have to switch priorities. Remember, I said priorities is that destroyer player because he is very crucial to the the, um, the victor or the probability of us winning this game. Notice it's still a fair even match here. We got five on five. We got a Kier Sarge. We got a Druid, Jaeger, and just submarine one of almost every class here. And we got a Slav in the background. So right now, let's see. We're gonna have to pick somebody and get them out because we need uh, our battleships need help. We got Montana in the back, Bungo behind an island, uh, Balao. And we just lose our Duncan to torpedoes from the Jaeger. And now we are literally, we are going to have to take this guy out. Because if he's allowed to survive, we are will be down a ship. And, oh, and we lost another ship. Or submarine. I don't really care about submarines. Whatever. Uh, moving on. So let's see if we can. Uh, it's up to the destroyer player at this point, guys. So let's see if we can uh, log this kill here. All right. We're getting a, we got a fire on. He's angle. That's why I didn't switch to AP anymore. Any, the, any kind of fire starting ability we can do, we can get. It'll be very grateful. I like the reload on the Lucians for that reason. Good firing chance. And then Kyrsars launches his planes. Our AA is trash, so we'll turn it on anyways. Let's see if he gets a lucky shot on us. Please don't get a lucky shot. Oh, come on, baby. Keep getting that. Oh, he got... Ah, okay. Not too, too bad. That's all right. 
His rockets. Okay, now Kurosarge took a shot at us. All right, we're accelerating and we're gonna get out of the shot's way. And yep, and Bupkis, he missed us. Ooh, a nice broadside shot. Okay, we might have this. Come on, baby, get that fire, get that fire. And boom, there it is, fire destruction right there. Splash two, 129,000 HP. Okay, let's get another fire on the Slava here uh, to help out our team. We only have two battleships left here, but the battleships are going to go, oh, uh, going up against one submarine and two destroyers as well as the slava right here so we're gonna have any kind of damage we can do to their slava will help out our team greatly they, we are still in the, in the the neck and neck of this game because we have two caps they have two caps and it's going to probably come down to the, a destroyer battle here i mean they have two destroyers i have to literally take out two destroyers in order to help my team out uh, my depth chargers are really terrible i have to drive over the submarine so not the funnest uh part of this game all right, so uh, I am the only one spotting, apparently, until uh, Druid takes out the Montana. Let's see how powerful a destroyer is. That is insane. Um, battleships are going down left and right to the destroyers and the submarines. So, like I said, I think uh, battleships are obsolete in this game anymore. So you guys can let me know, and you, you think, in the comments below. As always, I congratulated Druid on the Kraken. Can you believe, can you believe that? One destroyer got a Kraken. Let's take a look at it. Destroyer right there. Kraken. Killer. A Jaeger. Submarine, of course. And Battleship. Battleship went one kill each. Okay, we've got the torpedoes coming at us. Those are Jaeger. Okay, finally Bungo gets a depth charge of the submarine. That's one less thing we got to worry about. Now we just got to worry about two destroyers and a battleship. All right, so let's get to it. RPF is showing that the Slava in the last position of the Jaeger. I don't know where the Jaeger's at. Last position of Slava is on my left, so let's focus on him. 142,000 damage with uh, literally five minutes. Oh, there he is. Thank goodness Jaeger got spotted finally. We get some uh, little br breath of fresh air. Now, I do not want to rush the Jaeger because his torpedoes go really, really fast. So let's go ahead and try to nail him around the corner and kite away. If I can kite away, I can kite away from his torpedoes that are probably coming at us. So we're going to make sure we don't get nailed by that. My Hydro is still on cooldown. And we are not detected. He has no spotting ability from anybody. Druid is also shooting at us. Well, we got to maneuver and outpace uh, his shells. Let's see if I can get around this corner. And I got my Hydra back, so we actually know where he's at. Okay, cool. We are at an advantage right here. My guns will now shoot. I was trying AP. Okay, now he's angled. You can see right there, angling is bad. But you know what? doesn't matter. We get those top shots onto his superstructure. He goes down. Meanwhile, we've got the Druid on our right here. So we're going to focus on him. Please, Bungo, can you take care of that Slava? For Thank God. There it is. Slava's go down. Last destroyer of the game. All right. Come, it comes down to destroyers right here. Come on, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. And I think we got it. We got the super heal going. So he doesn't have yet yeah, no heals left. So we're just going to melt this guy down. And it was a good effort, man. He got a crack and he deserved a way to go there. And uh, hopefully we secure this. Oh, he almost takes us out here. A lot of damage from the Druid. Very powerful destroyer. But man, look at that. Destroyers winning the game for the team. Securing it. Four kills. 157,000. Wish we could have had a Kraken right there. We would have had two Destroyers getting Krakens in the same game. Wow. What a game, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that one. But that just demonstrates the power of having good Destroyer players, good tactics, good positioning, and Destroyers surviving the long haul of the battle. Especially the Lucian is great at that with the you know, super heals, ability for the gun power reload. 157,000 damage. A lot of depth charge, hit, depth charge hits. And look, first in the team, first I have to compliment this guy. I already did. Yeah, this is just replay. But, dude, way to go. Shout out to you. I'm putting you on the, the channel right there. Way to go for your team and then prove that Destroyers are the key component of the game. And also, we have the Lucian at the top right there. Bungo, you did a great job. I also complimented you. Plus one on both of you guys for really sticking it in there and sticking with the game. Uh, the Destroyers at to the very bitter end to support each other as well. So let's take a look at the final stats. 157,000 damage. 139 coming from main guns. Depth charges on the submarines. And of course, fires right there. And of course, we spotted uh, about 32,000 damage and got potential shot at us 732,000 art uh, ordnance fired at us so very very strong definitely i recommend the solutions of you well if you had it i mean it's a dockyard event hopefully they do bring it back i definitely recommend it. if it does come back totally get it it's totally worth it for a dd main gunboat so as always hope you enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts in the comments below as always hope you're doing well if you see me out there say hi and as always be safe cheers